Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Levi Nolasco. I'm a top producing realtor with Keller Williams here in sunny Las Cruces, New Mexico. So I wanted to make another video of the pros and cons of living in Las Cruces after having been here uh, about five years. I also have another video that I made two years ago that you can watch as well. Something that I would like to mention real quick is if you're watching videos about moving, I know the different emotions that people go through. You know, it took me three years to leave Los Angeles. You know, I had lists of pros and cons. I did all the research, everything. I can tell you without a doubt, if you're looking at videos of other cities, then that's your intuition telling you that you need to make the move. I truly believe that everything does happen for a reason. I went to Seattle, it didn't work out, but I did learn a lot there. Same with Los Angeles. I learned a whole bunch that I'm using now here in New Mexico. I think that if your intuition or if that little voice in your head is calling you, telling you to go somewhere, um, I wouldn't fight it. I would go there because it's telling you to go there for a reason. And maybe you need to come to Las Cruces to pick up a few lessons and then uh, you know, head off to your next destination where everything will come together for you. Or maybe you live out your entire life out here you know, with lowered stress, more time, so, and enjoy. Still at the top of my list of pros is going to be time. I cannot tell you how beneficial it's been to come to a city where you actually have time to sit and think, and even, I would say, enough time to be bored, which in big cities, if you've been there long enough, you know the feeling. Sometimes, you know, I challenge you to, to, to try and remember the last time you had time to be bored. This time has let me explore a lot of things that I've really been interested in for years that I wasn't able to do in a big city. I remember living in the big city and having time to, you know, maybe go to the gym once during the day and that's it. Uh, forget about reading books or coming home and making dinner and, you know, having some downtime. It was come home, eat real quick, and then go to bed and wake up for the next day because you have that horrible commute uh, to a job that you don't like. Another really big pro that I've come to, to start really uh, being thankful for is the sky and the horizon. Uh, you know, if you live in a place, uh, even like Washington, I mean, it was a pretty open place, but there was a lot of tall trees, so you couldn't really see far. Um, LA a little different you can see like the whole valley and everything but here being able to see uh, like horizon to horizon I mean really really far as I'm going to show you as I turn the camera around uh, it does something to you psychologically and first of all it's beautiful uh, second of all it just creates this space that lets you you know enjoy some peace and quiet and again realize that you're on a planet floating through uh, a universe which is really cool Another pro is that, and something that I still love to this day, that has not changed or doled out. You know, you get like a brand new car, you get something, a new Apple Watch, and it's like super exciting for, you know, the first week, and then all of a sudden you, you totally forget about it, and it's just a thing that's there. Um, the mountains have been the opposite of that. I have never gotten tired of looking at the mountains, and they change every single day. It's amazing. Here's, we're surrounded by mountain ranges, as you can see. Uh, behind me and it just makes for a really really cool scene and perspective of the world that we live in and it's like we get our own private art show for the whole city to enjoy you just have to come and experience it yourself I mean you just you have more time so that lets you get involved in more things that you enjoy such as your hobbies reading it's you know cost-effective to, to golf out here it's cost-effective to eat out here um, it's just a, just an easier way of life still to this day. The cost of living is going up everywhere in uh, the United States and Las Cruces is not exempt from that. Um, prices for locals have increased quite a bit, uh, but it's still, in my opinion, one of the most affordable cities and towns in the United States. Now I know it might not be like that forever, but it is today, it was yesterday, and it'll be tomorrow. So I think, you know, there's still lots of opportunities out here to get a house that you can afford and start living the uh, dream life that you want. It's been my experience that getting the dream life has been easier out here, at least for my particular situation. Another pro is that I really love the ease of outdoor activities. Now I can work a full day or, and still go home, load up the four wheelers and get out to the trail and ride for a few hours. So my experience in big cities was I would have to wake up really early and plan, you know, on where we're gonna go. Again, have to do the whole parking thing and then um, fight your way through crowds as you ride your bike or, or hike or whatever, listen to other people's music on their backpack, which is super annoying. If anybody 
out there does that. Uh, the ease of getting into nature has really helped with stress. Uh, and again, I think that adds to the quality of life, but I would much rather be in something with this type of scenery and this beauty um, than a big city or uh, pretty much anywhere else in the world. Honestly, I really love Las Cruces. Okay, so let's talk about some of the cons and a few of them have changed for me. Um, I, again, I really love Las Cruces and I'm an optimist, I think, so uh, it's hard for me to kind of dig on the city or point out things that I don't like. There are a few weeks throughout the year that make it difficult to get outside. My least favorite season is going to be spring, which we're coming up to. And that reason is because it's windy, it's cold, and it messes with your plans. I would say the closest thing we have to a natural disaster is our wind. And it's nothing to where, you know, it's gonna flip your car over or anything like that. Uh, it does get really dusty. It makes it to where, let's say, you know, last week I was planning on going for a hike. The day came around and it was super windy and cold. So then I ended up having to stay home or just stay in. Now, I have to say many other people are out riding their bikes, hiking, doing whatever they want whenever it's windy. They may have a little bit more tough skin than I do, but um, that's just my personal opinion. I don't like taking the dogs for walks or um, doing anything outside when it's super windy or cold. Something that's really interesting about our winds is that when it's really windy here in Las Cruces, as soon as it goes over those Oregon mountains and a few other mountain ranges, it turns into tornadoes in Oklahoma, which I found uh, pretty interesting. As far as I know in Las Cruces, there are no emergency vets. Um, we had to take our dog Lenny to the emergency vet on uh, Christmas Eve of last year, 2021. And, you know, it took us 45 minutes to get there. Luckily, it wasn't a life-threatening uh, thing that was happening to him. But uh, it was 45 minutes. We had to wait outside because of COVID. So our entire Christmas Eve, we stayed outside of the emergency vet in El Paso. So that would be awesome if we get an emergency vet here. There may already be one in the works. I, I just don't have my finger on it, but that's something to definitely consider. Another con is we still don't have a Korean barbecue place. So, hey, if you have the skills, uh, I'd love to team up and maybe we could open up one on our own. So once again, thank you so much for watching my videos and I'll see you on the next one.